Welcome back to Minus 16, the podcast where we talk tech, and there's a lot to talk about with the tech world at the moment, and also, of course, the world of YouTube. Now, last time there was four, Alex. We've culled it. We're down to the bare, bare minimum we're, now. We're minus one. <laughs> See what I did there? Hey, I like that. I like that. Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> we've after our last uh, episode, there were, there were some technical issues in the background <laughs> with Daniel's setup last time. So he's gone out and bought himself a full rig. He's got a podcast mic and he's got a new camera. But of course, we made that one mistake and actually road testing it before, <laughs> before we got on to recording the podcast. So Daniel is having a few issues. All I can tell you is we have seen him. And it's the 8th of November, and he's got a Christmas tree up. Yes. That's all we're going to say. So we've yeah. got free reign to talk about Daniel and say anything we want about Samsung's S24s. In fact, <laughs> it's a good time to, to update the whole crew and Daniel that we decided as a business that when we get monetized, we are sending him a, an M4 Mac Mini as a, as a present. Because, <laughs> he, he, yeah, as a creator, you know, Windows is just it's not that's working. a problem sometimes, you know. Yeah, it's not working. So um, we've decided to run just with Alex and myself this time around, which actually isn't all bad because, as it happens, there's been a lot happening in the world of Max. I have never worked so hard. Sod Tech Timber, October mm. has been in, well in November has been incredibly busy. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I know it's been the same for you. That the way that Apple did those events last week, actually, for, from a creator's point of view, would we'll get onto YouTube later, but it just played right into our hands because it gave us constant feed of material, didn't it? It did, um, and uh, I think the same happened. I think last year we had, a, you know, had a nice three months of content, and then in my case, January was also busy because Samsung released Samsung, that stuff. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, it, yeah. it was actually, but yeah, you're right. October, September and October this year, I've never worked as. I mean, I, I probably look like say <laughs> I did age about ten years in those last two months. I last need a break. Week, I but think yeah. I did. Three long form and four shorts, and you know what that does in a week to try and turn that out. Scripting, editing, yeah. recording, it takes quite a chunk out of you. But it's, it's been worth it, um, which we'll get yeah, onto in just a little bit. A, so. it's, it's like um, it's a seasonal thing, right? And this is the tech season, and we kind of, yeah, if, if, I, if I'm looking at my schedule for the last 90 days, mm. I, I, look, I look back and I'm kind of proud of some of the stuff it's, that I did, and but I can see, you know, what it means. And... Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't well, feel great. Well, let's put it that way. <laughs> well, let's get the, the podcast done before you keel over, shall we? I mean, I don't want to do no, this no, as a this solo fun, podcast. This is the fun those part, days. Right? This is no, there's no editing, <laughs> a little bit of editing, but this is yeah, fine. There was last time, that's for sure. But anyway, let's talk about, let's talk about the Mac Mini. That machine <clears> um, has caught everybody's imagination, it seems. Mm. I don't know what it is about the Mini. I don't know if it's not been refreshed for so long. I don't know if it's the design that it's moderately affordable. Yeah. Um, oh, it's very... I, don't know. I mean, if, yeah, if you don't buy the Pro version, yeah. Uh, right. Yeah, okay, okay, back off. <laughs> <laughs> There's one of us here that spent £2,200 on one that's got to come at the end of November. That's, so That's insane, I, yeah, okay. He, yeah, well, he, here's, here's my reasoning for that. I'm thinking... Being so much newer than the M1 Max, I've got the same one as you. I think the only difference is mine's mm. 32 gigs, yours is 64, I seem to remember. Mm. But yeah. outside that, we've got the same machines. And I'm just wondering if the M3 is going to be, uh, M4, three years on, is going to make up for the fact that it's a Pro chip and not a Mac chip. It's only got one decoder engine, so I don't have my export times. That's the thing for, for video, yeah. it's The media engine is the thing that matters. Um, so I'm, well, I'm curious. I'm, I'm yeah, exactly. really curious to see, but... Yeah, so I think so that I've got to wait for. So the one that I bought, I went with 48 gigs of RAM, terabyte of storage, the 10 gig Ethernet, um, and the M4 Pro chip. Yeah, yeah. We, and Apple the chip loves was the you. Apple chip. loves you, man. This is, this is 12, yeah. 12 core uh, <laughs> CPU, 20 core GPU, 14 core CPU, uh, 20 core GPU. So yeah, I've gone as far as I can on that one, apart from the storage. You drank, you drank the Kool Aid, literally. <laughs> I certainly have. I mean, yeah, when I look around what I bought this year, I need to be getting some money back out of the, out of the channel pretty quickly. But I, I, so I'm going to, that's going to be a serious machine. I think I'm going to try and actually use that properly mm. and see how I get on with it. There's no returning on that. I bought that. Yeah. I'm going to keep it. Yeah. I, is, I say that, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, being a little bit uh, tongue in cheek here, but that machine, if, if it performs well, it will mm. replace you know, potentially, you know, for a lot of people, I think you don't need to buy the Mac Studio, for for example, or or a MacBook. I've seen people commenting saying that they might actually replace their MacBook Pros because they said, "Well, I don't actually move my MacBook Pro. I thought it's a laptop, exactly. yeah, but I don't yeah. actually use it as a laptop." 
And I, and I thought about that. So actually, that's a great point. So I'm, I'm also buying a pro as a comparison. My mm -hmm. focus is going to be on the base model initially. How base um, is the one you've got turning up today? Is it the 599 absolute is, base? Is the, the base, yeah, everything. Yeah, um, yeah. The only thing that I'm kind of thinking that I might, I might find useful to have here in the studio is a, you know, as well as my MacBook Pro, not as a replacement, but is to have the 10 gig Ethernet. If I if I really go go completely on uh, on a like local storage here like NAS, that's the only reason I would consider the 10 gig. But yeah, otherwise, I mean, I can see I can see so many use cases for it. I mean, so many people are using it for music mm. produ production and they want to see how the base model kind of you know what the limit is on that. Mm -hmm. But the, the fact that base model now has 16 gig, I think is a huge deal because. Um, that's the only upgraded I, I, the only upgrade I recommended before for the for the Mac Mini and the uh, MacBook Air, um, because I always found a gig. Oh, it struggles. Know, it's good enough for a few things, but sixteen gig is bare minimum. Yeah. I think these days. Well, I, th I think now they've because I'm I'm not going soft in the head. I'm sure a couple of months ago Apple was saying that eight gig was the minimum for Apple intelligence. Suddenly now their Macs are at sixteen gigs. So I don't know if they've been testing out Apple intelligence and it's more processor heavy than they thought. But oh. my thought is if they're saying 16 is minimum, buy a Mac with 24 now, because if 16 is their baseline. Yeah, or, or they can see the trend, right? That if the trend is for people to use LLMs themselves rather than using, you know, ChatGPT or whatever, but build their mm. own um, LLMs and using open source stuff on the computer, um, yeah, th then you're definitely going to need more memory. So a lot of people mm. are asking me to use that, and I, I have to do a crash course on <laughs> on configuring LLMs, but yeah, I, I can probably see why they're doing it. And, you know, if, if that's the trend that people are going to start using those models themselves, then yeah, I mean, memory is going to be, you know, the, the, the only annoying thing is that they should allow us to upgrade it now, buy 16 gig mm -hmm. and let us open mm -hmm. the thing and, and replace it later. All right. And, and I wouldn't mind buying Apple memory. Um, if I, if I, if I could upgrade it later, but yeah, it's annoying because you know the reason I'm saying that is because I just reviewed a, one of these mini PCs, like yeah, a Windows I saw that machine last weekend. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Intel, Intel machine, you know, it's, it's a 14th gen Intel, so you know, it's probably not the best buy really if you consider that there's a new one, new new gen coming out. But but the value, right? It comes with 32 gig and two terabytes, you know, for less than a grand. So um, yeah, and, and it's well capable. I mean, uh, the problem is, it's not Mac OS. I mean, I say problem mm -hmm. because, you know, the, uh, for a creator, as we just saw with Daniel, Windows does cause some issues that, you know, you have to be a little bit of a geek to know what you're doing. Work around Whereas it, yeah, Mac, yeah, yeah. Mac is solid, man. You know, it's, it's rare, it's really rare when it crashes or when it slows down. I mean, he, on the Intel Macs, it did, it used to, but it's been so good so far. No, I mean, it's, that's it's the, the, only, uh, the only product that I, I don't, shit on that much on Apple because well yeah we're going I'm to talk really about that in a minute because I know you've got an interesting little experiment going on right now but uh, mm. yeah I mean I think cause I, I, I put up another uh, I put up two videos about the M4 so far the, the, the MacBook Mini uh, sorry the Mac Mini and uh, I just I did a buyer's guide yesterday but then I began saying I look at this M1 Max and it just doesn't and I shouldn't say it but it doesn't let me down it is mm. The, when yeah. you think of the work we put these things through and fairly intensive work day after day, I've just loaded some more motion VFX um, plugins on, on the Mac as well. So like some 3D text rendering. It's all, it just, yeah, it's awesome. It gobbles it's it. Been amazing. It, it doesn't I mean, slow up. To be fair, right, it is the M1 Max and it is, you know, 32 gig or 64 gig in my case, it's a lot of, a lot of juice. Mm -hmm. um, one thing I found interesting, I posted this on Twitter, you know, I used to talk about this a lot. I actually made a video about this it can be seen almost as a conspiracy theory, right? That Apple slowed down the computers on purpose. Because mm -hmm. I definitely saw that with um, Mac OS Catalina to Big Sur, I think at the time. Uh, and that was just, I think it was the OS just before the M chip came out. I could be wrong. Someone would fact check me on this, but it was, it was around that time. And the Intel, the i9 Intel, similar spec. I mean, I paid the same. It was a four grand machine. Similar spec, i9, Mac style, you know, and he's, after I upgraded to Big Sur, it completely, like, nothing worked. And I know at the time, like, Adobe, so I was using Premiere at the time, so Adobe was going through 
their that always optimization. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was crashing, it was slowing down. So I had enough and I, you know, I got the, I moved to Final Cut at the time, but I also downgraded the OS just because I thought, that, that, how, you know, how can it be that one day it was running fine and the next day it isn't? So mm. I've downgraded to back to the original Mac OS. And that's why I made a video because as soon as I did that, everything was running smoothly and fast again. But now I, I saw the opposite from, from whatever it was before Sequoia, um, Sonoma, right? From Sonoma to Sequoia, it actually made my Mac better. Which, so you're on Sequoia now? Yeah, yeah I'm on Sequoia. I've been yeah, for a few yeah, weeks, yeah. which is why I posted it on Twitter because I was like, fair play, man. You know, I used to, to and I was, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll confess here, right? I was kind of hoping that Apple would slow it down to give me a reason to buy the M4 Mac. <laughs> but I was like, damn, it's working fine again. So um, not again, but it, it's actually working a little bit better. I don't see as many beach balls, you know, because you do start seeing it every now and then mm. when you're doing mm. a massive export or you, like you're saying, you're using masks and layers and layers on 4K video. But it's, it's fine. Um, so, so you're not thinking think, of changing your main rig then? You haven't gone for a new M4 MacBook? No, no, no. As tempting as that is, I'm happy to so sweat the asset for another, pounds probably another gonna... year. <laughs> we'll see, right? Because it's, it's all, you know, as a business, you, you get some benefits. I think, you know, on um, some uh, rebate on VAT, rebate for example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could, there's definitely a case for me to sell this one now that it's been three years as a, you know, the depreciation is, is at the end of it. Mm -hmm. But th there's actually no reason to do it. And content-wise, you know, it wouldn't really pay for itself initially. I don't think, you know, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be a popular. No. I've, I've done the MacBooks before. I mean, it, it'd do okay. And I'll get probably a couple of sponsors. Potentially, you know, over six months, it'll probably pay for itself. But it doesn't, doesn't need to. It's this Mac Mini. It's caught everybody's imagination. Every, okay. I, I think you put a message on our group the other night saying it's just a, a magnet. Everybody wants information about it. It's almost, I missed this, the whole thing when it came over to Apple Silicon, of course, in M1. I think mm. you just had your channel then and you just started. Yeah, I did the M1 and I did the M2 as well. And, and so everyone wanted to know about Apple Silicon, right? And, yeah. and it's the same There's sort of thing again now. Yeah, actually the M2 Mac Mini video that I did, I did a comparison with a, a gaming rig. Uh, I did a few videos on, on the Mac Mini. Yeah, that, I mean, it's awesome. Awesome machine. And I, you mm. know, I use it here. I don't use it personally, but the person who comes here to help me mm. uh, three days a week, that's the machine she uses. She's now mm. starting to edit some videos, some short clips um, on that machine. So it's, yeah, it's a perfect machine for a lot of people. I mean, it's going to be hard to sell it to someone like us to, yeah. as, as yeah. the base model to do what we do, but you know, that's, that's probably 1% right, of the use case. You know, the majority of people will be absolutely fine with spending be interesting what, what your take. all of that. Oh, it's, I, I mean, you could, I, you know, the, the possibilities of that machine are just ridiculous. Mm -hmm. I know it is only the M4 Pro, but I think we all need to, the thing is we don't know yet about the thermals. Fingers crossed they've got the thermals sorted and it we'll doesn't throttle or anything. Um, but I think we're all just waiting to get our hands on it and, and just begin to see how good this, obviously I've got the M4 and the iPad, but I've only been able to use that final cut a couple of times and that's the only thing that really pushes it yeah i did buy something like this i mean it's not it's not the cheapest thing to buy but this is four terabytes um, right it, and the brand is lexar but it, it could be any right it's four terabytes mm, see. extremely fast i put that in an enclosure total cost maybe 300 quid um four terabytes four terabytes and that's connected by thunderbolt 4 yeah I mean, it depends yeah. on the enclosure right, at that point, but it's 40 gig per second enclosure, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which, yeah, so total cost 300 quid and you, that, you can't do much with 300 quid with Apple, right? So I think it's not as convenient. It will take a port away, away you know, away from what you're doing. But I think it's, no, I think it's a, a consideration. A lot of people will buy the base model and use something like this mm -hmm. and be happy for two, three years. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that, that was the obvious thing is to buy external storage and plug it in. You've got a reason that IO on the Mini. Go that route. Yes, it started, yeah. The problem with, with the NAS route is that for, for, for remote editing, I still need to use this at the moment. Of but course, yeah. There is a way of me connecting remotely to the NAS. I just haven't mm. configured that. I, I want to put a proper switch in here, like a networking, whatever. It just mm. introduces a bit more like a, like a data center set up, right?
yeah, um, yeah, but yeah. that is definitely when you start when you start carrying eight 16 terabytes of data in in these things it's time to consider our nows really yeah that's the route i'm thinking of going daniel happy christmas thank you yes uh, as you can see <laughs> we celebrate christmas nice and early in this kateri household <laughs> presents ham whatever lasagna whatever you need yeah, it looks good. The first thing I saw this morning when you joined on was it's Christmas. And I looked down thinking it was December. Like, no, it's not December. It's only just November. But yeah, it's Christmas, so, but he's wearing flip flops and, and shorts, which is, um, I mean, it reminds me of Brazil. It uh, was yeah, it's, 32 it's degrees and like 98% humidity today. It was cooked. Oh, man. 98% humidity sounds horrible. I may have exaggerated. It's, so we have um, been basically talking about the Mac minis. We've decided that you probably need to buy a Mac to edit on is the route that we're going. Oh, was that decided <laughs> we, without we, me, was We it? decided while you were, yeah, we while you were away, meeting. we decided, yeah. <laughs> uh, you, might, you might find one's turning up with you any day, you know. Oh, well, if it's, if it's a free one, I will not turn it down. <laughs> the Maybe. only way you'd use it. So actually, a good time to join us because um, Alex has been going through his 30-day mm. Android free. I have been following Yes. So, good time to join. How's the experiment going? How's it going, Alex? Uh, let me show you the box. Uh, <laughs> oh, yes, he showed me this a moment ago. Yeah, this is proof positive that he's not trying to pull a fast one on us. These babies are locked away. Well, right now, if I really wanted to, I could just unlock the box. But um, I bought some, uh, some things to stop me doing that. So this is, uh, all, like, even the um, Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro are in here. My Tab S9 Ultra, it, it breaks my heart. But I bought these um, security seals. I'm going to seal this so people can see that I haven't actually been cheating. And, you know, when the camera is off, I'll go and. So just talk through actually your two sort of workflows. then, Daniel, so you obviously you, we know S20. Is your main phone an S24 Ultra now? Or my S20? Yeah. Fold Which six. is your favorite? Fold 6 is your daily. Fold 6 is my daily, yeah. And then you edit on, well, we could say something that doesn't work. <laughs> that it's, must be cruel. <laughs> it's not the laptop, but I think the new microphone, I had to software update it. It was a software update right, right, for right. it. Software updates for microphones, what a world we live in. Uh, my daily laptop is my Book 4 Ultra. And you find that's fine, quick, no problems? It's qu very quick. The fans boot up insanely quickly and the battery right. has already degraded down to a point where it lasts only like a few hours on heavy load so but outside of that like it, it exports a 4k video like 15 minutes in like four minutes and that's that's fine for me mm. I'm, happy, I'm happy with that's that. fast yeah yeah that is fast yeah yeah sort of speeds we're about i think and so for you your dailies were alex before this embargo was you were an s24 boy s24 moving to the fold the only thing i hadn't moved was my authenticators so i was using the fold most most of the time but whenever i needed Just to, to sign into accounts or whatever it was the s24 ultra the sim card was still on the s24 ultra but yeah i i thought doing the challenge I, I don't know i was kind of running out of ideas for content to be honest so i just i just thought this would be a fun way of mm. uh creating something that is actually easy to create as well from a you know it can be short clips every day which is what i'm doing and then at the end of the month or beginning of december i'll do like you know what happened which i'm actually curious to know what will happen uh the first week this is day eight of course I've already found all lots, lots of things, positives and, and negatives, but um, interesting that when you actually force yourself to use just one ecosystem, how, you know, how you, I, I'm surprised at how many things I've found and little, little quirks as well that people, you know, we always hear about the Apple ecosystem being this, oh my gosh, you know, it's amazing. It's the Nirvana. In my experience, you know, it's as flawed as anything that you, that you use in tech, you know, it's just, is not perfect. And Which tablet would you thought, have gone to before this lockdown? What tablet would you have gone to? Would it have been the Tab S9, or would you the use Tab the S9 iPad? Ultra? Was the one that I had on, on my desk, and now is the iPad M4 right. Pro. Um, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the, the thing I miss is the aspect ratio on this one. Mm -hmm. From a tablet experience, you know, it's a bit of a much of a muchness if it's just here as a watching device, and I use it as almost like my second YouTube when I'm working is playing YouTube music or whatever. Mm. So it's not doing much as an iPad. Um, but yeah, I, I do miss the aspect ratio on that one. The, this it's is almost as big be... as the Mini as well. This is the problem. Yeah. Right? <laughs> By the time you put this in an enclosure, the enclosure, the yeah. enclosure is going to be... Yeah. 
Um, do you ever find with, with externals, though, that they slow down from overheating and so on? I had that issue oh, uh, once. Yeah. I mean, I, I did a my most viewed video on the channel. Is oh, a no, video it's where legendary I, now, isn't it? Your SSD video. It's a grueling video to make because I did test and, you know, you've got to kind of take notes and see how, because initially, and I see that with the iPhone as well with um, ProRes log recording, is a thing with SSDs, right? Because, you know, the, the way they work is the, the more you write to them, the, the hotter they get. And with heat, they do throttle. And mm -hmm. some will mm -hmm. throttle more than others. So the SanDisk is a good example of, it will look great for a few few minutes. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. I can't believe I just paid 99 pounds for this. You know, mm -hmm. two terabyte and it's small and it's whatever, it's portable, rugged. But yeah, try 15 minutes recording 4K60. It will slow down and you will lose frames, you know, and I've tried that. Um, whereas, you know, something like this is a bit more professional. It will go to like, you know, seven gig per second or whatever. And yeah, it will, it will get hot, but you, you know, this is a bit taller because it has like a, I forgot what the, a heat sink. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So buy them, some heat out. Yeah. You can buy them without the heat sink and just put some thermal pads on them. You mm. get super hot. I mean, I've got four or five attached to my, to my hub here. I've got another mm. one. This one is a gaming one. Uh, that got sent to me. This is this is a crucial one. Again, this is a two terabyte. Awesome little bits, but but they they do get hot. And if you buy the cheaper yeah. ones, they will they will throttle. Yeah, for the sure. first problem I, told, I mentioned that video. I I did a video about creating a YouTube video on Final Cut Pro on the iPad, and because I needed mm. to finish off with some plugins, I was very transparent. I said, look, I am editing this on an SSD because I need to finish off on the Mac. But basically, yeah. yeah, it was done on the iPad. And um, that I, I got a Samsung T7. I know you're not a big fan of those, are you? And that got hot as hell. It just yeah. Again, for, for out. backups, th there are different reasons. I and mean, that's kind of in my video also I say is like, if you're just buying for as a, as a second version of your file, so you, you know, if you lose your laptop or you don't, you know, don't want to use cloud storage, it's something that you're going to access it very, you know, not, not very often. Mm. Then those are perfect because they're not expensive and they will do the job. They will last forever. Whereas, you know, something for video editing that I'm, const I mean, I, I edit off of these SSDs day on a daily basis. You know, I started moving to a NAS now, but it's, it's the most convenient for me because I do take my machine home, my MacBook home, and I edit from home sometimes. Hmm. So having those SSDs on a little enclosure. So a couple again, of questions there then. Which is your yeah. go-to SSD to edit from? I'll show you. Um, I'll just unplug them. <laughs> Because we were talking also, uh, before we start recording, I'm thinking of going the Synology route, uh, which is something we're going to chat about in a minute, the, the NAS route. And it's, if you're watching this or listening to this, I'd love your comments as well about the the idea of going NAS and Synology, yeah. uh, which is why I got the 10 yeah, gig the, Ethernet on the Mini. That's the brand I'm going with, to, to, to be fair. Um, it's, it's amazing. There, there are others. They're not sponsoring us. No, no, no. not sponsors, by the way. But um, one day the podcast will have a sponsor. It's, it's going to go that way. So... This is the enclosure. So as you can see, it's probably as big as the Mac Mini, right? This yep. is um, okay. one of the latest ones. So this is self-cooling. So there's a little fan. Mm -hmm. No tools required. So you can open it by hand. So that's a oh. thermal pad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can see the pad yeah, in yeah. there. Yeah. There's a magnet here. Oh, sorry. There. Yeah, yeah. And the other bit, whereas the, the bit, I guess, I mean, it's so hot right now, uh, is where you put the, the actual SSD. Okay. So that I love is the fact the, it's got built-in cooling. Yeah, yeah, that, that one. It does get a little bit loud if you're like when I'm recording the A roll, I turn mm -hmm. this off. Mm -hmm. But there's a there's a switch as well that you can turn it off. And this is the the SSD. So this one doesn't have a sync uh, a sync pad. Right. But oops. Don't know if you can see that. Yeah, I can. But, yeah, so it looks a, like we've got somebody trying to join us. Brace yourself. <laughs> yeah. If you, yeah, if just to, um... Oh, we can hear you. <laughs> Yay. Cool. You're quiet, but we can hear you. Did you buy a Mac? Okay. That why here. Here. <laughs> oh, oh, good. Good one. Can you maybe turn your volume up a lo little bit? Is that going to ruin things? Uh, can you do anything with your gain? Don't, no, don't, 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 don't. I'll try and do it my end. as it goes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So just Welcome to close back. the loop on the on this one, this uh, this is a you asked for the brand right. This is a Sabrent yeah. one. Again, there are thousands of these uh, different brands. Uh, but yeah, if if you're not, I'll, you know, if you're not worried about the convenience of having everything local, which which is, mm. 
I bought the two terabyte uh, on my Mac. It, it, as you know, right? Within a week, that 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 space is gone. Mm. And mm. unless you're really good at managing the space, um, it's just not enough. Even if you go for eight terabyte, I, you know, for video which, editing, oh, it's just not enough. Yeah. So you have to have yeah, external. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what I won't mind you do, I'll get you to put some links to those, the case and the uh, the, the SSD. Yeah, on the or I'll link to the notes. video where I review all, all of them, and then you know you can can go in there and choose. I, I need to update that video because there's a few new brands that I've been testing. But um, yeah. And have you definitely have you gone the NAS route yet or not? The, the multitasking hasn't really, because my cl current client doesn't use Windows stuff, so I don't use the Tab S9 Ultra as much right now. But from January, funnily enough. I will need that because my my new client from then will will require me to use Microsoft Office stuff. So it's kind of a um, yeah. I I can probably make it work on the iPad if I wanted to, but I, I find it a lot egg. easier just yeah. using Dex. Dex is just for that sort of. Oh, work, here we go. We're perfect. talking. We're going to turn Daniel on now. If you get talking Dex, we're getting him moist and happy over there. So I saw, <laughs> yeah, I went moist. I went moist. <laughs> we'll let so, it out. <laughs> great work. No, so we're not. I, I saw you put up a video yesterday, Dave, I think it was yesterday, about why people are hating on the... And you, it was a video, but, I mean, talk us through it, why your reasons were on that. Well, look, obviously I've been accused of being making it a clickbait title already in the comments, and I've rushed to my own defence. And look, yeah, <laughs> it 100% came to me as I was sitting there watching Ronaldinho play, and I was zooming in with the camera. I was like, this is still such a good phone. Why do people hate it? And then I went, I've got it. That's a video. Why do people hate the S24 Ultra? So I just wrote it down as a note. And then I was like, do I make it this week? Do I leave it? Do I make it at all? And then I just fired up the camera yesterday, spoke to the camera for 15 minutes. And then before you know it, I had a video. And then I just edited it last night and uploaded it. And sure enough, it's, got, so... it's one of my most engaged videos that I've done in the last probably month. Yeah, it's a good point on cameras. I mean, I... I didn't think I would miss the camera on the on the Samsung stuff, but amazingly, you know, especially when I when you use Instagram, um, if you use the selfie camera on the iPhone, I don't know what if I don't know if it's Instagram doing it or, or their processing or or whatever, but it's just it looks crap. It really does. And I never and I use the I miss the, the, the I don't know what it's called. Is it dual recording on the yeah. S twenty four Ultra? Yeah. That you can have yourself in a little box and then you you're facing the other way or vice versa you can choose what camera to to record so you're basically recording with two lenses at the same time and almost like editing in in real like in real time can't do that on the iPhone so you have to actually you know look at the screen so which is why I was using the selfie initially uh, but yeah after day 3 or day 4 I was like I'm not happy with this it just I look the color is completely off it's just not great and then um of course, I then have to use a sticky with a uh, selfie stick with facing the main camera, but it still doesn't look as good as the S24 Ultra. And I'm not sure if it's the color. It's just maybe I need to fiddle with the iPhone colors. But yeah, it's out of the box. It's just not not as good. I don't think. Was the Instagram issue a known problem then, Daniel? With, with I don't know. Samsung? Is it something you picked up before? No, he's talking about iPhone. Instagram. I'm talking about the iPhone. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. iPhone, sorry. Yeah, I thought, yeah. Sorry, I thought you were saying... Because I, I thought when we met during the summer... <laughs> no, 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 I'm not, I'm not shitting on... I'm really not. I thought when we met during the summer, um, you said there was an issue with Instagram and, and uh, Samsung's. I've it's not a different had any issue, kind of... yeah. Because uh, Samsung came into, into their launch and said that they're now working with Instagram so that the app mm. should be more fluid. My Smoothly experience done. was... Is buggy. I mean, I don't know what it's like now, but it's when I tried it straight away, it was like, mm, really? Because this doesn't look as good as the Apple one. There, there are things like when you go to the to the bottom of the menu and you try to edit things, it's just not as friendly as the iPhone. You you, you don't get the same controls. Things disappear. I showed this in, in my S24 Ultra review. Um, so it's a different thing. But what I'm talking about is the iPhone quality, the just color. pure video quality. When right, I look right, on the yeah. screen on the iPhone, it's fine. Mm -hmm. But it's, when you upload it to Insta, it, mm. it looks washed out and not great. And out of interest, why is it people are hating on the S24 then, Daniel, the Ultra? What, what's the problem this year? There's a, it depends on which angle people are coming at it from. A lot of them are coming at it from a comparisons to what else is out there on the market. 
they're looking at the Xiaomi's, they're looking at Oppo, they're looking at OnePlus, looking at Vivo, and they're comparing and their the Google, options. right? And the Pixel and the Pixel to a, I think to a lesser extent the Pixel. The Pixel's more from a software side of things. A lot of people are looking at the hardware misses from the S24 Ultra. Like it doesn't have hmm. a one inch sensor. The three three times camera is old. The ultra wide camera is old. So a lot of people, it's, it's a 5,000 million power battery, not 7,800. It hasn't got 120 watt fast charging. Like they're looking at it from a lens of what else is out there in hardware and comparing it instead of looking at the package that the S24 Ultra gives you with S Pen, with its quad cameras, with all the camera modes, the One UI software, they sort of miss the point of what the phone is. So I think the hate... Don't, don't forget yeah, uh, AI. I mean, I never yeah. thought I'd say this, but yeah, I miss the AI features on Samsung. They actually work and they're actually, you know, they became second nature to me. I can't, I mean, I, I think my day eight update or day seven yesterday was about complaining about how how bad Siri is right now. <laughs> it's just not intelligent. It doesn't doesn't have a contextual awareness. It's like I'm at the gym, I've got the workout app running, and if I say play music, why doesn't it not play like workout related music? Why doesn't it play some random shit that I never <laughs> I never even listened to before? As an example, but there are others like the Find My stuff doesn't work. Um, signal, just basic signal on the iPhone is really bad. I oh, think I saw I'm you finding... mention that, yeah. So with the yeah. same SIM card, you're finding that the signal's worse with the iPhone as well. well. Exactly. I'm going to the same places that I always go to. And because, you know, as a tech reviewer, you're always carrying more than one device. You don't, you don't notice those problems most of the time because mm. you always find a different way of get, getting around things. But it's so visible now because I'm forcing myself to only use the iPhone. It's the 16 Pro. Mm. And look, I had iPhones before. I had every iPhone. The 15 Pro Max wasn't that bad. I know it was never great, especially when you go mm. to busy areas or in the countryside here. It's not the greatest, but it wasn't worse than the S24 Ultra, whereas, or the S23 even. But the 16 Pro is just, yeah, I get the SOS thing, you know, which, like, how, you know, I know I'm in the countryside, but, you know, it's not, it's not no, in the not middle remote, of the remote. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. exactly. But I've heard you make that complaint for a few years about signal difference between the iPhone, like in some comparison. Yeah, it's always been, it's been worse, past, but this is like a difference, I mean, right? It's always been a little bit patchier. Now it's just like a new, it's like top point where it's, mm, un, it's interesting. I, I considered stopping the challenge because I was like, I can't actually work and there, there might be an emergency one there. I'm like, it's, it's not great. Yeah. Using the same SIM card. I haven't yeah. noticed that it's been any worse this year on the 16. I, I, you know, it's, it is the only phone that I use, and I've not seen, I've not felt any degradation from a signal point of view at all. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I'm a, I'm not quite as in the country as you here, but you know, the first time it happened, I thought maybe it's like because I was using a case with um, a magnet. Oh, actually, that's the one I've got on now. It's got this case and a like a stand magnet thing. Mm -hmm. So there's lots of magnets here, right? Um, on the next day, I thought, okay, maybe that was it. I removed it, used it just the iPhone with no case, same problem. So mm. I, I just think it's just a bad, either a bad antenna on this model. Um, I heard that they're changing it coming to next year. They will, they will have a different. Yeah, I read that uh, somewhere. Yeah. So maybe that's what it is. Um, I know they're different between some MM wave or whatever. They're not allowed to have it in Europe. There's all sorts of things at play here that, that could be causing this, but yeah, I, I also did that drop test. So I have to mention that because when you do a drop test, even though the screen didn't break and the camera still works, everything works. Oh, of course, could damage the antennas. You, you don't know, right? What happens in, internally, but mm. I, um, I would imagine that Apple dropped their phones themselves, right? And they, they do that as well to, to make sure that it is durable. Mm. So yeah, I think, um, I'll give it more time and see, see how I go at the end, but it's definitely worth for me. So as a little segue into the YouTube side of things, uh, I think we, we've all had the enjoyable position this week of getting some one out of 10 videos. 
we've all had yeah. <laughs> the first time yeah, it feels good doesn't it week, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, team, I you know, join the party <laughs> yeah what's this confetti thing uh, they, they're doing now so of course they're always done it i just never seen it for, for a long yeah, time exactly that yeah yeah it's been kept away from me that one out of 10 feeling but yeah so it, it's been kind to us this week uh certainly on views and subs and you know yes we put in the, the, the yards and put in the hard work but it's it's paying reward at the moment which does pay testament to the fact that we started talking about on on the last pod about staying in lane staying true, not going out and going the cheap route of buying views and buying subs, actually just, you know, being on brand and talking about what you're passionate about. You know, you said you put this video up yesterday about why people are hating on the S24 Ultra. You didn't do it as a clickbait. You did it because people are genuinely moaning about it this year and you were passionate. Well, the fact you could just open up the camera and talk for 15 minutes says it all. Mm. Yeah, uh, I think... um... Go on, Daniel. Sorry. No, no, you go. I actually don't have anything yet. Always no, I was just going. reflecting on. <laughs> I was just reflecting on what you said on the opening, right? That this week has been great for us. But I think it's is also a perspective because I, I'm hearing from other creators that it's actually been the worst few few months for them in the same niche. So I think it's it's very uh, kind of a, a, it's a perspective thing, right? It, I think it's more about. I think you hit the nail on the timing and the popularity of a product. And, and if, if you start to do this more often, you probably see more success. I think it's yeah. when I look at I th- the people complaining that they're not getting views and I look at the content that they're creating, it's, it's pretty obvious to me that the people are not searching for that stuff and they're just not, it's not something that you want to watch. Uh, um, uh, well, you know, I know January obviously is going to be a great time for you, Daniel, but this one was just heaven sent. And I, I was, it was at the end of a long week. And it, that video I put up last week, it's done about 40,000 odd and dummy 600, 650 subs. And it's done really well. Yeah. I mean, it, I, I was like sitting here watching, thinking, where's this come from? But it, it just insane, goes to show yeah. it's hitting the curve. It's hitting the curve. That night, I thought, have I got a video in me? Is there anything really worth saying? And I, I was really interested in it. And much like you, I just decided, no, screw it. I'm going to sit and make a video. Not by my standards, you know, no B roll. It was all just taken from Apple videos and stuff. But it was hitting the curve. People were so interested in that M4. As soon as you started mentioning it, that Mac Mini, people want to know more and more about it. Um, and it was just, it just goes to prove that content still is king. Oh, we've lost, oh, we've lost your audio. We've lost Alex. Alex. Alex's audio is popped now. No. So, Daniel, it is time for you to talk. You've got to have something to say. Well, yeah, well Alex yeah. works out his audio. <laughs> We're dropping like flies here. I think it has. Oh, there you I, go. Uh, I, I, pl- I unplug my phone by mistake. Uh-huh. My Sorry, microphone. It has been a slower, probably six weeks, I would say. Like, there's been the odd video that sort of randomly took off. But, like, I would say it's been modest. I wouldn't say it's been slow, but it's been modest. And then, yeah, I just thought, I know this video will, will hit. It might not, I think I said it when we were on with Brad, making a video like that, like where it's sort of targeting the negativity, the negativity of the space that we're in, like it's not my favorite thing to make, but when things are slow and I still am passionate about what I want to talk about, Mm. I can angle it in a way that I know that it will pick up. And that's, I don't don't think this should be a problem. I get where the viewer might get disgruntled, but at the end of the day, they clicked on it. So why are they clicking on it if they're um... going to be upset by it? No, exactly. I, you know, I had, I think, eight or nine videos that I need to make. And I looked at all of them this week and I was like, the Mac Mini is, is the video that people want to watch. Mm, mm. So that's the one I'm going to make. And my manager was like, I thought we were not going to do these random things that you do. <laughs> like, no, but sometimes you've got to, when yeah, you get as that much feeling. As we, yeah, exactly. And as a creator, it actually invigorates you a little bit. I mean, in my case, I'm like, I'm now a little bit more pumped than I was at the beginning of the week because a video did well and you kind of get a little bit, mm. you get ideas, you get the community more importantly engaged to mm. your point earlier about people who are, you know, paying YouTube to, to buy more views and whatever. That is a very like shallow experience. You know, totally. you're going to see something that will, you know, will make the numbers look good externally, but your audience is just completely disconnected. And um, it's so nice to have, you know, people commenting and asking for suggestions and, you know, just getting engagement. Involved, that, mm. That's yeah. That, I take that any you know over any other type of like sponsorships uh, or engagement. Yeah. Can I ask I mean, a question? Has any of yeah. you ever had a viewer email you like questions about devices and asking you things? Like, has that ever happened? Via the time. Via my website. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Interesting. 
Yeah, all, all the time. I, I, I made friends with people. Sometimes they even call me. Uh, I mean, there's yeah, right. there's a couple of people who who became friends through initial. Hey, can oh, I somebody help? didn't somebody send you a Sony? Wasn't that on your phone first experience? A Sony, a, a Garmin watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's one of my friends. Yeah, yeah, his, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So well, you've I think been that's getting part some of emails through community, right? It's like you, 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 you know, you can get to that point of being personal with with your yeah. audience. I mean, you can't do that to to everyone, but. It's well, a good yeah, sign, I think. I just got an email from this guy that in Victoria, and he just sent me like a whole bunch of information. Told me how much he's enjoying my videos on both Sam Mobile and my channel because he's thinking about getting it an S twenty four Ultra. And he goes, "You're so knowledgeable. You've got all this stuff." And he goes, "Can you help me with these questions? Sorry if I'm bugging you." And I read them, and they're just super engaged questions. And I'm like, "Yeah, I can help you mm. with this." So I just sat down last night and answered them all. And you know, that's a one-on-one -on -one sort of connection that will hopefully have me a viewer for a very long time. Like, I know yeah. it's only one It's viewer. a good sign. I don't know who said this or where I read this. Actually, I read it this week. It might have been um, on on Twitter, X. Um, that, yeah, the good, you know, an engaged audience will comment. A, a, a community will DM you. So I think there's some, there was something in there that's mm. well, obviously that's not realistic for everybody to DM you. But when you start seeing those things, it's probably a good sign. And, and I think it's, uh, it's something that I encourage people, you know, starting out to, to build because sometimes you struggle to, to say, who am I creating this for? I, I struggle with that weekly. So who am I doing this video for? Who is, my, who is my audience? So having those personal contacts, I think helps you build that, that avatar almost of, you know, who you're creating to. Because the more you learn about people who watch your videos, the better you can tailor your content. I think in my, in my experience anyway. Yeah, no, that sounds, I agree. Yeah, completely. I'd be interested to know what your two uh, takes on it are. I still, to this point, am replying to every single comment. Now, sometimes that's taken me three hours of an hour a day, which I could do without. <laughs> I'm struggling, I'm struggling, but I'm still trying to do it. I, mean, come, I knew this day would come. I mean, it's, been, it's been a few months now that I can't actually do it for everyone. I try, I have, I'll have bursts of, because I used to, as soon as they came out, I like I stop what I'm doing, mm -hmm. and that that became quite quite challenging because you know you, you, it's eating into your time mm -hmm. um, hugely. Whereas now, and this you know part of it was like talking to other creators who who got to a point you know bigger than than the, my channel. So how do you manage this? You know, one approach is you know, and I'm not saying is the right approach, but one approach is to say. During this time, between 8 and 9 a.m. when I'm having my coffee or whatever, that's the time I'm going to read comments and, and reply to a few. You I have do it to once a day now. Yeah. Yeah. Once that's a day. Do. First job in the morning. Yeah. yeah. Unless the is that first up, job is like, uh, you know, it's a quick, you can almost yeah, do yeah, one yeah, of yeah, automated yeah. responses. By the way, I wish YouTube would, I mean, they've got so much data on us, right? They know how we talk. <laughs> they know how every word that we speak is in the freaking system. Uh, they know how we respond to comments. The automated responses should be, should, should, should sound like we do. You know, that's my, yeah. and, and at the moment they're not, they're just like, glad you liked it. It's like, yeah. I don't want to say so, glad you I, liked it because it's just a robot. The AI generated ones that they're putting in now, I think there's been a studio update. So I heard it's improving. Yeah, I think it was you who showed it. Yeah. A lot better. And I've actually, like, for example, this one, someone wrote beautiful fold. That was it. And the automated responses are, yeah, the form factor is definitely its best feature. Next, oh, that's something options. you would say. Yeah. Agree. That's better. Yeah, its yeah. form is the only thing that's great about it. And like, there's two responses there that are kind of different and it's contextual. Okay. So I, I think they're I'll, definitely I'll, improved. I'll I haven't take seen my it criticism my side yet. back. <laughs> I'll yeah. take yeah. it back. Although, I, I want a feature. We're, we're, you know, I, want, I want to have it now. Where are you at with applying then, Daniel? So How do you deal with it? At the start, I was very like haphazard because when I was started YouTube, I was still working full time at Samsung. So I kind of was like trying to just do it in spare time. And then as time sort of went on, I found myself uh, prioritizing like the negative comments for some reason. Like the positive ones, I was like, these guys are great. I don't need to do, I don't, I don't have to spend attention on them. Oh, there's a hater. Let me put them in their place. Not in like an aggressive way, just in a, here's the facts. Cause you've been like, I know what I'm talking about. And then I had two this morning. <laughs> I kind of disengaged a little bit. And then the last two weeks, um, vid IQ did something on Twitter. They're like, 
put post your channel here and we'll give you a quick audit on something you should mm-hmm. be doing. Mm-hmm. And, I saw that tweet, yeah. And they and they came back to me saying with for a YouTube channel with plus 50,000 subscribers, you should still reply to more comments. And I got a bit self-conscious about it. So in the last sort of oh, couple of oh. weeks, I've um, bulk have been replying to comments a lot more. And especially when a video goes live, I'll, put, I'll sit there and maybe do the first like 30 comments and then I'll call Always, yeah. There's a first hour, first two hours. Yeah. yeah. I'll sporadically now respond if there's like a good question. Like if it's a good question, I'm like, yeah, I can help you with this. I'll mm. just yeah, jump in. I, I think but- I'm... What I what I try to do is kind of put myself in the in the shoes of a viewer. If I go mm. into a cha- into a video and I look at the first recent comments, which is what I always I don't look at the yeah. top ones. So they're they're funny usually, but I want to see you know what, what the last ten have been, and if they haven't been responded to, to me is a sign that the creator is completely died. Is he's gone? He's gone disconnected, right? He's somewhere else. He's he's doing something. Focus on something else. So. I'm always conscious of that. So like going back to recent videos as well that had comments and, and respond to the last few. So even though there'll be a gap between the video was released and you've like responded to Two the weeks first has gone by, 50, yeah. what, and then you go back and there's another few, but there's something in the middle that you're not going to respond to. I always go through them and see, you know, are these questions? And I think YouTube even lets you filter by questions. So I answer those first. And then the most recent ones, just because... There's people coming into our channel, and I, I realized that this week. I was talking to a mate who's not on YouTube at all, and I, you know, and he was saying how amazed he was about the channel. It's like after a while, it gets normal, right? We don't really realize what we achieved, and we have to sometimes pat ourselves on the back a little bit more. And I was like, yeah, that, that's interesting. And, and he said something that every day there's someone who's seeing you for the first time, and that kind of hit me a little bit because I was like. Wow, that's that's a huge opportunity, right? And and um, and on the Mac Mini video, I mentioned it. I was like, you know, that's that's an exciting part of creating something. Like every hour of every day, there will be at least one person knowing you, mm. getting to know mm. you for the first time. Um, but there's also the negative stuff, right? And I think it, you can filter words that annoy you, and I've I think I've done that. But you can also just use this button that YouTube has, which is hide user from channel. And I used that twice this morning. <laughs> Probably getting, a pop- I don't know if you've seen this before, but a popular video will attract all a plethora of different yeah. opinions, right? And I welcome it. I've got thick skin anyway. But I used to, I have, initially I used to respond to the, to the negative ones first. And then obviously that really gets you like, you know, angry. Then I decided to go to, I had a rule that says, if I respond to a, a hater, I have to respond to 10 genuine comments or, or decent comments. And that works for a little while. And it f- makes you feel a little bit better that you've actually done that, but you're still getting upset about that one guy. Now I just hide from channel straight away. Unless, unless it's something that gives me an opportunity to be funny. Cause I love taking the piss. Yeah. Well. I, I try not I mean, to be rude I, to them. I try to be sarcastic yeah. and a little bit, cut, go that route, you know? I so every now and really then I'll, I will do one of those and screenshot to share in the group chats and whatever. But yeah. yeah. The majority just gets straight. Like this morning was one that says, uh, I didn't, I didn't understand. What was it? It's like, it was misspelled. It said something like, what are you talking about? What WTF bro. you <laughs> talking without the G about bro. I knew there'd be a bro like, in there. I just felt it coming. <laughs> it fits. Sort of, it suits. Seriously. I, I used to have a really foolproof method for hating, uh, for negative comments. It was the thing I started with from the start. I'm a big Simpsons fan. And there's this one Simpsons quote that Homer. <laughs> I've seen that. When, yeah, he gets Marge pregnant, but he doesn't know she's pregnant. And Mo just says to him, way to get Marge pregnant. That's why most is like. And then Homer just looks at him and this is getting very abstract, but thank you. I do enjoy working at the bowling alley. And I used to just comment that <laughs> that quote back because it's just completely like out of left field, throws yeah, them yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, that's it. I can be I can shut the book on it. But then as time went on, I started thinking of like other clever retorts and I've sort of shelved that one. But I should probably go back to it because it's just it's just perfect. It's so silly. Like what can they say it's back? Some people don't get sarcasm either. I use a nah. lot of sarcasm in my videos and some people don't get it. I mean, I, I said once, and this is like when I first started, and I toned it down massively now and it's nowhere near, but at the beginning you can see I used like clips from films and I, I said something about the, the earth being flat, which 
for the record. <laughs> I don't believe it's flat. <laughs> Just... But because I said that in the We're video... We're full of shockers on this podcast, aren't we? <laughs> oh, my God. So many... I'd say once a month, I still is a, is a video about air tags, which I hate, but still gets views. And yeah, I get I guess so many comments thinking, "Do you really believe that?" They're like annoyed that I I said it was the Earth was flat. Like, mate, seriously. It's <laughs> interesting. A couple of things on the video that went up last night. The very first comment that I saw, and bearing in mind this was a, a video that until two o'clock yesterday afternoon hadn't been thought of. I just suddenly thought, I need to do a buyer's guide. It's clearly something people are interested in. So I created a whole video, and the first comment I saw was, for the fucking algorithm. And I thought, well... <laughs> you can't let, if you can yeah, imagine how... I mean, I was thinking, I didn't want to look removed. at the comments this morning. I thought, oh, no. I mean, it, it, it wasn't. It wasn't. Clearly, yes, it's popular, but it was also a lot of information in there. You know, I'd done some research, blah, blah, blah. But then equally, one of the comments I saw this morning was, what an effing waste of time. Why buy a Mac? It's like, well... You've clicked on a Mac video. Yeah, it does get ignored <laughs> straight away. Yeah, exactly. No. I mean, to, to be honest, if if you make a video that is having those div, div, divisions, divisions opinions, yeah, 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 I think that's a great piece of content. I love mm. when that happens, even when mm. it's it's got more dislikes than others. Usually, my "Don't waste your money" is is that mm -hmm. video. It's like mm -hmm. seventy percent likes. <laughs> There's a lot of dislikes. Um, but I love that because it's, it's, you know, the majority of people will see through the, the baity aspect and, and mm -hmm. actually, okay, that's some useful information here. I hope so anyway. Yeah. And also, I don't know about you guys, I find that going through the comments, you can almost get the bones of another video out of it as well because you begin to see information that people, viewers want to talk about. And Brad said that I, last I, week, I tend right? to keep notes uh, now. Yeah. yeah. Our previous guest said exactly that, that sometimes when he's run out of ideas, and that's a great a bit of advice is look at your comments you know mm. what, what are people asking you to to review or to do and yeah i i keep yeah. the tab open in ulysses and when i'm reading those or replying to those comments i'll just go oh that's a good one or you know copy and paste the whole thing or just make notes and yeah i go even beyond that and look at bigger channels or videos that did well on other channels it doesn't necessarily need to be a big channel but look at videos that in your niche that did well oh and is the creator answering i mean if you go if any of us go to Mr. Who's the Boss, which is a good one to go to, mm. there are some useful comments in there that never get responded. And they're really mm. at the top, like top five comments. So part of my research is to, to do that. And I, uh, I other always, creators. Like, before I write my script, I go, you know, what are people saying about this device? Not watch what the creator is saying, but what are the comments um, asking mm. about? I think that's a really useful thing to do. Do you do much, you two do much keyword research on videos? Not as much, no. I mean, I, no. I every now and then look at the uh, analytics tab that has that research thing, but it's to me. I mean, let's let's do a live. Let me look at what it's saying now. I haven't looked at it for a while. I think it's called inspiration now, isn't it? That's old. He's saying that I should be reviewing the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. Really? What, which tab's that under? On uh, inspiration. Uh, if it's you go to the analytics tab shit, and then honest. inspirations at the top. Yeah, my one is. Z Fold 6 pros and cons. and It's so uh, bad, right? Oh, oh yeah. It's so bad. Yeah. Samsung phone He's telling benefits. Me. What's in my iPad? <laughs> what is in your MacBook iPad, David? Day in the life. What is in your Pardon? iPad, David? Uh, what is <laughs> oh, we don't need to talk about that on a public forum. <laughs> he should, he, he's saying that I should make a, make a short about the iPhone 13 update 18.1. I think that's a very specific... Relevant. Well... That's kind of is is narrowing something down. So, oh, you think from their data that they're picking up that people have got older saying, iPhones? A lot of people are searching for this. Maybe I don't know. Mm. Mm. Samsung Fold Four long term review. No one's looking. There you go. You're looking for ideas. Fold You're all over it now. I don't even have. A, I don't even have it. <laughs> Some are bad. I think out of those, um, yeah, there isn't a single one about the iPad Mini, which is still a fairly hot device to talk about. Or mm. the Mac Mini. I mean, I would expect the Mac Mini to be here. No, like the Tab S8 Ultra review is crazy. First of all, yeah. I reviewed that to death. I've done so many videos on it. Yeah. Anyway. And I haven't looked at Google Trends, but I would have thought that the Mac Mini at the moment is flying. You know, if you... not a single mention of it for me. Because the amount of impressions the, I've got even on that. Those are one out of ten. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And Google gave it, I think, something like half a would, million impressions. It's huge. You know, say... it's ridiculous. Yeah, make a follow-up video about the Mac Mini. That would be the first one for me. And it's like iPad Pro reviews, upcoming iPad Pro. What? 
coming out. You've got to give, you gotta give <laughs> the people the what they want, Alex. Like. You've got to give the people what they want and you've got to make it the best I iPad will, video but I've not listened I've ever to seen. YouTube, that's for sure. And I bet you guys get this. I've spent all week working on a video that was ready last night and I decided to put it to one side to make this bars review. So the bars review was a very quick video to make, but I had a lot to say. But this other one I'm actually quite proud of. And it's taken for ends of 15, 16, 17 minutes. It's a long video. And I'm really happy with the editing. But I just pushed it to one side. I thought, no, it's not relevant. It's not for today. No, exactly. Usually the ones that you do, I mean, the, the, the Mac Mini I did, which was, a, I think, a seven-minute video, I broke all the traditional rules that we have ourselves, right, to make it eight minutes minimum or whatever. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to make the video as quickly as I could you know, with the time available that I had. There was no B-roll required because it, it's a preview video. Yeah, I love yeah, those because yeah. they can be done quickly. And yeah, um, it's always those ones that you don't spend a lot of time or overthink. I just exactly, made a bit of yeah. fun, right? Just like I just have a little bit of fun with it. Um, yeah, yeah. I started. I started at two yesterday afternoon. By eight o'clock, it was up, done, finished. You know, but, be, but while, while you were struggling to get your A E A V working, Daniel, uh, the little kicker for Alex today is his Mac Mini is being delivered between four and five this afternoon. Excellent. <laughs> so content what a bitch. galore. I had I had great plans for sleeping this weekend, but uh, that's just been demolished by DHL. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I was, again, we were talking. I'm going to probably get. I've got a really nice Mac Mini coming, uh, Daniel. But I've decided I'm probably going to get a base one as well in London this weekend. Um, but I'm not rushing to get anything up same day. It's just I think there's a lot of interest. I think next week it could be a video that people just want to look at and talk to. Yeah, you know. I'll do my so, best to get a video out for tomorrow. Um, Good. I'll copy and paste your script. That transcript will be in... <laughs> not today. Whatever, um... whatever Alex says, I agree with. Just so you know about next week's video. <laughs> oh, good. I can watch the same video twice. Exactly. No need to double up. Mm. Yeah. Um, so I think we're kind of done-ish, aren't we? I think we've covered all the points we needed to or wanted to. Is yeah. there anything I've overlooked? No, I've got some new gear. I mean, we could talk about YouTube stuff for forever. Right? It's such a such a topic that our audience clearly likes and thank you so much yeah. all for for subscribing as well it's it's really a nice boost for us and we it is, do yeah. have plans for this podcast to to keep growing Got um, some guests and yeah we've got all sorts of ideas yeah Can i, I mean, just make we, a we recommendation find a way for both of you buy, yes buy this like right now buy the uh, alex has got it yeah i got one David. of these ones which uh... yeah i haven't got one is that the dji <laughs> osmo pocket three it is legit the best thing for just b-roll on the go and i know phones really are good, but this is just so yeah. because of the fact it's so stable mm. and you can like prop it yeah. up with little tripod legs and yeah yeah it is i've seen so many people um at berlin in in the content creation i mean they're all like having it in their pocket just recording yeah. everything it's awesome yeah yeah it's, it's, it's definitely my so, in my basket it's so convenient black friday do yeah, you alex put a link to that in our group chat and i'll paste it into the notes on the yeah. video now I was going to say, since we're talking about DJI stuff, this is a, a the new drone, the Neo. Mm -hmm. it, it takes off from your hand. And it's a good like this, and it goes poof. It flies and it follows you around. And oh, is that the tracking board. one? It yeah. tracks you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not even it's, stupid expensive, is it? I just went for a run this morning. I wanted to to do part of my challenge and just record me running for a bit. Yeah, no, it's. Uh, 180 quid or something? I was going to say it's about 150 or something. Yeah, because I've, I've, I've kept uh, some details on it. I mean, on it's an action saying, camera yeah. and it doesn't do everything that the Pro, the Mini Pro does, for example. But yeah, it, it's quiet. It doesn't annoy anybody. It, mm -hmm. it will crash, but it's made for that. It has all the... Yeah, it's... You can, you can drop it. And it. Awesome. So light as well. It just goes and you, you can literally put it in your pocket if you ever... Uh, yeah, definitely a, another... I do fancy me a bit of drone action, actually. Yeah, it's, you know, as a creator, it's, it's nice having these little tools that don't cost a lot, but will mm. add a bit of dynamic to, Added, yeah. to the work. Yeah, done. yeah 180 yeah, yeah. quid, right? It's cheaper than any phone. Um, yeah, it's great. And it's 4K, isn't it? Yeah, it's 4K. It's an action camera, so it needs light. And, you know, if you mm. go, yeah, with poor light, you're going to struggle, but it gets really grainy. But if you've got decent light, it's awesome. No, I've got that one looked out. It's something I'm thinking of doing. When did you pick yours, yours DJ I up then, Daniel? Uh, Recently. I ordered it like a month ago because um, I found it cheaper on Amazon and then I got my local tech store to price match it online. 
but they mm-hmm. were, delay, they were delayed by two weeks with stock. Apparently, it's a hot item. Even though when I went into store, they had like a hundred of them on the shelf. Mm-hmm. Neither here nor there. I saved like eighty bucks off the retail price, which I was happy with. But I only arrived like a week ago, um, and then two days before that, I got the Sony A six seven hundred as my new A roll cam, which is what I'm using now. It is looks good, man. Looks it's good. Yeah, it does. Look good. It sound good as well. It's apart very from the, good. the volume. Yeah, well. That's the yeah, new microphone. We work on the gain. Well, yeah, I'll, <laughs> I think what I, I think when I installed the software for the pod mic, it lowered the gain on the mic, so I just have to go in and juice it back up. And it yeah, yeah, be yeah. Fine. What is That's the mic? Would be fine. Is that the is that the, the Rode? Rode pod mic USB? Yeah. Oh, so your USB straight into your straight into laptop. laptop. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nice. touch more gain. It sounds lovely though. It does sound lovely. Yeah, sweet. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll put the gain up and we're right. Yeah. Yep. It's a condenser mic, isn't it? It probably needs phantom power or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, that's what this it's one USB is. USB, though. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, USB doesn't have... Yeah, it does this have, one's going through an it interface. It does have an XLR output as well, but I'm not that fancy, so... Uh, see, XLR just, again, yeah, it's one of those things. Once you've done it, well, you've got to go XLR. I did plug earlier by mistake, but... <laughs> All right, then, boys. Um, we've got videos to make, upload, script life to lead, all that kind of stuff. Uh, we will be back. I think it's just the three of us. As it stands at the moment, it's the three of us next time around. And then we've got a guest for the, the pod after, I believe, the way it stands at the moment. But everything can change. Everything yes. can change. Yeah. So we'll be back in a couple of weeks' time. Thanks for all the subscriptions and views and comments. We do do our best to follow them through. So we'll be back with you with another Minor 16 in a couple of weeks' time. See you all very soon. Cheers. See you, everybody.